What's up guys, Kwezi here, bringing you guys the top 5 plugins for 2016 that you need to have to start off the year. Since I do a lot of social media design and web design, that's kind of the things I do most often, actually at all. These are 5 plugins uh, I've had not for too long, but I have used them all at least once. Some a lot more than uh, others, and you'll see the top 2 really handy, used all the time. Um, but yeah, so let's get into this top five. All the downloads for these will be in the description if you want to check them out below. But yeah, let's get started with number five. So this one is an extension. So if you go to window extensions, that's where actually I actually have three that I'm going to be showing you today. This first one is called the social kit. And if I click that open, you can see there's a bunch of different tabs here with different social medias. And the first thing I'm going to point out is the social buttons. So if you click the social buttons and you go to buttons, you get this document with all these handy social media buttons for uh, Facebook, Twitter, Google Plus, and Pinterest. Um, and you can customize the number for each of these. It's really nice. I think I've actually only used the, uh, the tweet one so far in an actual final project. But I'm, it's just really nice to have them here. Easily customizable, really nice. And then the other things, like it has the YouTube profile and ads if you're creating an ad or you're just working with a profile. So I use this YouTube and Twitter one since I do a lot of YouTube and Twitter social media designs. So this YouTube one, everything is like in a folder. So if I like every like here's the player, everything down here and you can customize it all so it fits your channel. And then when I'm creating uh, a new banner for someone on YouTube, I can just plug it in here right there and see how it's going to look before you'd have to I'd have to upload it on YouTube on like my second channel see how it looks be like oh, this looks a little off um, I don't like this the profile picture covers this and it's just like way more time and this is just real nice it's right there real quick and then if you want to plug in all your stuff uh, you can save it and it will save it to uh, the social kit all right number four we have a filter this time and it's called auto FX software and to use it you go to filter down to the bottom and go to free sampler essentially you get a pop-up window here and you get to play around with all these cool effects so it has some presets there um, so if you click select presets there's a very few there's like four per section over here and you can also save your own presets if you get some nice effects that you want to use later on but you for the most part you're gonna be going up here to select AFX module and going and you can see you get a bunch of different effects that you can play around with um, so if I go to dreamy photo it gives you like this red tint you can just change that to like a creamish color give it a dreamy effect increase the blur increase ghosting just play around with things you get it updated right here soften mask sure uh, then once you're done you click OK you get this loading bar you can actually add multiple effects at once too, I forgot to mention. And then boom, you get an effect. And it looks really nice. Like a lot of other filters and just plugins for Photoshop that I've used that have done a similar thing, I've just never really liked the results. They've never looked good. And I just just took off the plugin because there's no use for this. But this one actually uh, yields good results. I've only used it once for a uh, personal family little photo thing but still look pretty good as you can see I played around with uh, this blur here too I forget what it's called looks pretty nice though and everything just it's like it doesn't do too much and it doesn't too, do too little which I found a lot of the other ones sort of did for me but this one I like a lot all right number three is this little plugin called ink and if I open up this folder here you can see it gives measurements of objects in Photoshop. Um, so boom, 314 pixels by 314 pixels, this circle is, and it tells you a little information on it. So like rasterized layer, name uh, ellipse one, opacity one. And basically how to use this is if I have this ellipse and let me actually duplicate it and make a new, like change up the size and stuff. Maybe make it a little oval, put it right here. If I go to Window, Extensions, Ink, you get this tab right here. 
and uh, all these things at the bottom here do different things. I haven't played around with them at all because I just use this big button. Uh, but you can choose what outputs and stuff you get and the style. So like this is like all red. You can change that and then properties, text size and stuff like that. But if you click this button, you can see it starts doing some magic witchcraft stuff over here. And then once it's done, it'll give you a folder. Okay, boom. Now you get a little folder here and you can see it named this one ellipse one. So that was the original circle and ellipse one copy, which is the one I duplicated and it's just named the same thing. So if I, I can come in here and see all the different statistics and it's also up here and then all that is in this one single folder. So if I have a lot of different shapes, a lot of different objects and I do ink to all of them, at different times even, they'll all be in one folder. So I can have that folder up, see anything I need. If I forget what, like if I forgot what this layer was called, I can just boom, bring up the ink folder and I'd be like, oh, it's named Ellipse One Copy. Scroll through, find Ellipse One Copy. Uh, I actually used this last week, creating a like collage type thing for my website, which was not, I used it for the height and width so I could figure out how high, how big something was when I sized it down and if I, how many things I could fit in the document size I was working with. All right, so number two is, it's not really a plugin, it's actually its own application, but it works in coordination with Photoshop. It's called Flat Icon. And this is so nice, guys. I can't even express how awesome it is. If you scroll through here, it has like tons of different icons. Um, for various things, email, social media icons, different things. And then you can search for what you want. So if I'm like, hey, I need a Twitter logo um, here, search Twitter, so many different options. There's actually a lot of cool ones too. Whereas like that one's pretty neat. But yeah, and then you can change like the, the format down below, change the size, uh, change how it's viewed. But I mean, it's not really important, but um, Make sure if you're working in a big document, you bring it up to 512. I have a document open in the background here. If I just click and drag one on, boom, enter. And let me just change that color real fast. And it's, I, of course it did not show up. Okay, boom, there you go. <laughs> I don't know why that didn't work. I literally just did it 10 minutes ago but it's really real easy boom there's the logo you can like right click rasterize it so the number one plugin is a little plugin called pixel squid so if i go to window extensions pickle pixel squid you can see all right let me get out of this real fast okay you'll come up first of all when you first download it uh you'll have to sign up and all that stuff and then you'll have to go to their website so it'll take you here you can see so many little objects and stuff. I'm just going to go to the sports bar collection. Just because there's, I'm into sports, there's a lot of cool things. And you can see so many different sports things. And they look real good. They're real good quality. And then say um, you want the soccer pitch. You go hover over it. Add to Photoshop. Boom. Go back. And you'll have some sort of screen like this. Uh, I forget how you get to this one exactly. Shouldn't be too difficult though. And then you want to click refresh and that new object will come up uh, if you want to add it you click on it it'll add say you want it facing a different way you can click and rotate maybe do something like that just let it load for a little bit boom it adjusts and you can add any object you want uh, if you want to add another one just go to add new let me i want to add this canister um, this flashbang or smoke thing canister. I don't know what it's called really Rotate it Like that let it load um, oh, Just changed um, and then if you want you can right-click Rasterize layer and then it's set in that position and you're good to go and you can get simple 3d objects like that No problem and they're free to use whatever and it's all free to download. It's so awesome You guys need to download these five plugins um, and thank you guys for watching. If this helps you guys, if you are downloading these, if you have any questions, drop a comment, like the video. Um, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you next time. Peace.